Sugarcane, often referred to as green gold, is not only a source of sweets, but also an important raw material in the renewable energy sector. According to the World Bank, global sugarcane production in 2021 was about 1.85 billion tons, which means we have about 185 million tons of bagasse produced each year. With this extremely huge amount, bagasse has become a raw material for bioenergy production, food packaging, paper. So how does this recycling process work? In today's video, we will take a comprehensive and detailed look at the process of recycling bagasse, a typical example of the circular economy. The journey begins in the vast sugarcane fields of Brazil. After 14 months of planting and tending, farmers harvest the sugarcane using advanced machinery that minimizes waste. The harvested stalks are transported to nearby factories, where the extraction process begins. The cane stalks, up to 6 meters tall, are chopped after harvesting. Large crushers crush the stalks, extracting the juice. This juice is processed into sugar or ethanol, leaving behind the bagasse. Conveyors carry the bagasse to storage areas where it is prepared for further processing. Since there is still water inside, the bagasse must be dried to reduce the moisture content. This step is important to increase the calorific value and make recycling easier. Bagasse can be spread out in the open to dry in the sun or in modern factories. Large rotary mechanical dryers or fluidized bed dryers are used for faster and more uniform drying. After drying, the moisture content of the bagasse is reduced from about 50% to less than 10%, making it ideal for use as a raw material. After processing, bagasse is ready for recycling processes. Bagasse is mainly used as a biofuel to generate energy, powering sugar mills and feeding into the national grid. First, bagasse is fed into a high-efficiency boiler to burn to generate heat. The heat creates steam, which rotates a turbine to generate electricity. This electricity is reused for the recycling plant itself, and the excess electricity generated is fed into the national grid. Brazil, the world's largest sugar producer, uses bagasse to generate 9% of the country's electricity. More than 400 sugar mills in Brazil have installed biomass boiler systems, providing about 20 terawatt hours of energy per year, enough to power about 10 million homes. In addition to energy, Bagasse is also a versatile raw material for the production of bioproducts, most commonly paper and cardboard. About 25% of bagasse is recycled into paper and cardboard. Bagasse fibers are cleaned and ground into pulp. The pulp is then pressed and dried to form environmentally friendly paper and cardboard products, serving as a sustainable alternative to wood-based materials. One ton of bagasse can produce about 150 to 200 kilograms of paper. Using bagasse to make paper helps reduce the felling of 20 million trees each year and reduce water consumption by about 30 to 40 percent compared to producing paper from wood. In addition, bagasse is also processed into pellets or mixed with other feed ingredients, providing a sustainable and cost-effective source of nutrition for livestock. First, bagasse is chopped and fermented to make it easier to digest. Then nutrients such as protein or trace minerals are added. Finally, the mixture is packaged and preserved for livestock feed. Fermented bagasse contains about 30 to 40% fiber, which helps improve livestock digestion and reduce livestock costs by 20 to 30% compared to traditional feed. Bagasse is also used to make eco-friendly biobricks or cement. First, the bagasse is crushed then dried to reduce moisture. Then the bagasse fiber is mixed with cement or other bioadhesives to create a mixture. The mixture is poured into molds, compacted to shape and increase durability. The product is dried or fired to achieve the required hardness before use. As a result, panels or bricks made from bagasse are lightweight, well insulated, and suitable for sustainable construction projects. 
In Thailand, a factory produces 5 million bagasse panels per year, reducing the consumption of 200,000 cubic meters of wood and saving about 15,000 tons of CO2 emissions. Bagasse recycling exemplifies the combination of innovation and sustainability. By converting agricultural waste into energy, valuable bioproducts and chemicals, the process not only meets energy needs, but also sets the standard for environmentally friendly practices. This comprehensive process ensures that every ounce of sugarcane is used, leaving no waste behind. As we continue to seek sustainable solutions for the planet, Bagasse inspires us to tap into the full potential of renewable resources. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you find it interesting and useful, please like and share the video so that it can reach more people. Now goodbye and see you in the next videos.